Hey everybody. So it has been two months since I have recorded anything. So sometime in February was my last, last time recording. Um, yeah, it's just been busy and I guess I haven't really felt like doing any recording on top of that. So, um, let's do some catch up today. <laughs> <clears throat> so here is my A5 and uh, just a review. I use this one. I use this one. I have this A6 and I also have this size, the five year. Um, this is really working out well for me. Um, I don't do anything with the calendar pages, but I have been just doing um, keeping track all along every day. It's just a daily log. Um, on top of that, it's like anything that goes on or I need to do or like appointments or events or um, visiting or anything I need to do is in this one. Um, and any checklists that I make. So just to kind of note things down and it really helps to keep me on track. Um, to do this and then I have it as the AVEC so two for the one year next year I'm just gonna go back to one book I don't need to have two books um, to do this so I don't need this right now so I'm just gonna put it aside uh, we'll take a quick look at this one because this one I have not used uh, yet uh, the way I, I have planned to use it so it's kind of slow pretty slow going using this um, but I do track, um, uh, work, um, this is work and half a day off. Um, there was vacation, this was medical, work and medical. Um, yeah, so it just depends what I'm doing. I just have very few things to show what the day is or, you know, to really show anything about it. And then this is the weather, <clears throat> which has worked out really well. I love the overview. Like here I can see in March, like we had tons of sunny days in March as compared to like January. And then this month um, we're right here and this is a rainy month. So we did have a big snowstorm um, last month at the end. And then we had a little snow again, but otherwise it's been uh, warmish, but still only partly sunny. So that's that. Then my health tracking, I have been really bad about, um, well, the weight tracking, I haven't been tracking very well, but I have been keeping up with this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it again next year. Uh, I might change what I'm doing. I might, uh, I'm not really sure. And this actually goes till February next year or March, March. So I can kind of take my time, but, um, yeah, I keep this up really well. And I just have when I wake up, when I go to bed, how many hours I sleep, um, my workout minutes, how many cups of water I drink, which has been pretty bad. Uh, vacation. It was vacation. Uh, vegetable servings, fruit servings, definitely stuff I need to work on. My steps and the rings closed and vacation definitely took a toll and coming back. So hopefully that will go good. And I really haven't done um, a lot otherwise in here. Um, I didn't, I have my word for the year. I've done absolutely nothing about it. Trip planning, I have done a little, all I've done is put in our camping trips and we just have two more um, to arrange. It's interesting, cause see then I look here and I saw that Lake Corona's camping reservations. I thought I already made those. Oh, maybe I forgot to put one in here that I need to put in here. There it is, Lake Coronas, Site 16. I already, did 
think I already made the camping reservation, so obviously I gotta double check that. But that's all I've done there. I've done nothing in the event planning. Um, I did get in the birthdays and anniversaries and the addresses added in here. And I did update the Christmas list from last year. Um, and that's really all I've done in this. This thing will be useful for a few years, I'm assuming, if I can keep up with it. And then in here, this is my daily. So I just have some things from Paper Doll Company, some little notes, um, and a ruler. And I haven't used this yet. I really would like to. Um, maybe when I camp, I will take advantage of that more. And not, um, yeah, I am keeping up with this. So I have um, just all the events and, and I keep fairly busy, pretty quiet here so far as we're trying to figure out uh, what's going on and what we're doing. So not a lot and um, yeah, not a, I kind of planned ahead what I could, but that's really about it. And I kept up with the weekly really well, and I like this style. I just do a little decorating, and then I just come in right in at the end of the day. I don't use it to plan ahead. I don't actually plan ahead anything. Um, I more back plan. But um, I like how I'm doing it. Um, compared to last year, it was kind of crazy, and I was trying out all kinds of new things. But this is more simple. This is simpler and easier, and um, I enjoy how it turns out. I think it turns out turns out good, and just easy to look at. Make sure I'm, you know, I can just see how things are going. It's the cherry blossom season in Japan, actually almost over. It starts in February, ends in April. So I've been doing some cherry blossom decorating in here. A little bit of winter. We didn't have much, but I did put in just a tiny little bit. Um, it was a very, very different winter with not much snow. This was the week we went on vacation right here. And we came back on Monday. So this was last week, I believe. Yeah, and here's this week. So yeah, I didn't finish here. Um, I know I, we went to bed at 10 o'clock, so I'll just put bedtime. And we did watch TV for a while, and then I watched Netflix a little, like an hour before going to bed. So yeah. And then at the end of today, I'll update this one. Um, if I know there's something going on, I do put it in here. <clears throat> like we have, my brother headed home today at eight and we have church on Sunday and we're visiting my mother-in-law on Sunday. So I know those things are happening. But otherwise I've just decorated, um, kind of pre, did a little pre-decorating up to this point right here. All right, and you've seen January. I'm just gonna flip through so you can just see it again. I'm not gonna discuss anything, but just, and this time I'm not trying to fill in every little spot. Um, if there's blank spaces and I don't have anything, I'm just leaving them blank and not, really I'm not worrying about it. My calendar is this one. Hikam, I think it's called the Hikam, Hikamori style calendar and the days you just pull off as they come. There's some sticky on them and it's just like a whole series um, of, like this will go into a whole new one. And this theme is sweets for my, the calendar I have. Um, I like that and I like putting the day in. So I'm probably gonna do the same thing next year but maybe pick a different one. And I know I went through all this, so I'm just um, showing you the pictures. And I don't remember where I ended when I recorded two months ago, um, but I'm just gonna flip through February um, as well, and I'll probably flip through most of March. 
there's some pages I would love how I like the cordon, the colors and how they turn out. And here, and then we end um, January. And then here is February. And since the Chinese New Year is in February, then I did all this. Um, and it's Year of the Dragon. I just did it more decoration for that here on this opening page. And yep, I know I talked about the hot air balloon thing we went to. I think I remember doing this. Super Bowl Sunday, which we didn't really watch anything. I think we watched the commercials. Maybe. Watched a Hallmark movie. <laughs> I recorded the Super Bowl and then we went back and watched commercials and watched the halftime show. That was really all we did. Um, Cause we're just not sports people. I like this page, this spread too. And Valentine's and then our church had marriage night as well. So Valentine's was Wednesday and then marriage night at church was on Thursday. And oh, I got a cherry blossom tumbler uh, water cup from Starbucks is so pretty, so pretty. Finally, the Starbucks in the United States is getting the Sakura um, items, so I did get a mug as well. Looks like we went to the Cheesecake Factory because um, we had a gift card. So we went to the Cheesecake Factory for um, the Valentine's Day. All right, and then here we had church on Sunday and doesn't look like we did anything that day really and then monday of course was back to work um i like this decoration here and then sisterhood things of note today i finished my sakura diamond painting i finished the akei drama i was watching a DVD and my prescription glasses made it to the cities. Uh, I didn't get them this day though, but I did get my glasses the next day on the 21st and I had my cataract post-op and really everything is going quite well. The irritation and dry eye was suffering from quite a bit. Has finally, as of a week or two ago, quit bothering me. So my eyes are okay in that respect and the sensitivity to like sun, bright sun, um, is definitely getting better as well. Wednesday, we had home group. Um, Thursday, I went to Perkins with my friend Marilyn. Looks like we had salmon for supper. And Friday, I was out and about with Rachel, so we went to Starbucks. I'm not sure what this Arby's was because I know we didn't go to Arby's. I wonder if we went to Arby's on one of these days and I ran out of space and we put it here. Who knows? <laughs> the 24th, I got my mug. I got a Sakura co coffee cup at um, Starbucks. Doug and I went to Chick-fil-A, apparently. You know what? I don't think we did Chick-fil-A. That was also a different day. So I just put it, I guess, where I had space. Doesn't make sense, but this was a Saturday. Um, we visited my mother-in-law and I think that was it. We rented the new Hunger Games prequel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, Sunday, we had church and that was it. This was a skincare set I got like, you know, toner and cleanser and serum and lotion and eye cream, I believe, what are the five things. Monday, back to work. Um, don't think anything unusual happened. I did get a St. Patrick's gift from my friend. 
Um, so I put this in here because she had this in, in the gift and sent me a cute uh, shamrock kitchen towel. And then this is butternut squash. I must have ordered some ink cartridges and because I ran out of purple and then a banana sticker. The 28th um, was Wednesday. And so there would have been nothing special on this date. I don't think we had home group. So yeah, no home group. And then Thursday, just work, nothing special again. So then March and March, uh, cherry blossom. This is when I decided to go all out and show the cherry blossoms for March. So that's what I decorated with there. And we had Sadie overnight on Friday. And yeah. And then Saturday took her home in the afternoon and I that was really it. Yeah, nothing else. And then church on Sunday. Nothing else going on. Um, on Monday, we went to the Asia Mall. Oh, for my birth. We must have gone for my birthday. Yes. My birthday was the 10th, but we went on the 4th to the Asia Mall. And we went to Pho Mai, a Vietnamese bistro, and we had Pho. And we had the best homemade wonton, cream cheese wontons I've had in my life. <laughs> And we had some lychee flavored sake, which was also very good. And then we shopped at the grocery store and we also picked up some of the mochi donuts, um, the Japanese style donut, which is really, really good. Okay, and then we, Tuesday was sisterhood and Wednesday we had home group and Thursday, nothing special. Then on Friday, the 8th, this was my son's birthday. And we actually went out with um, Val and Colleen. And why didn't I write that it was my son's birthday on here? Kind of surprised I didn't because he turned 38. Anyway, um... What we did is in the evening, our friends took us to a Brazilian steakhouse, a new one that is um, not far from us, actually. So that was the first time we'd ever gone. So we did that. And then we did a video call when we got back with Andrew Marse for his 38th birthday. And then on Saturday, I went to Perkins with Doug in the morning, also to use a birthday coupon, went to the Panaderia, and it looks like that was all we did on Saturday. And then the 10th was my 64th birthday. Um, I got a gift card from my friend to Starbucks. So I put that here. Um, just work. They really, you know, it was Sunday. Um, did we go anywhere? Um, I got some calls for my birthday, including my son and his wife did a video call with us for that. Then on Monday, um, I just put this stuff in here because um, this Korean gomtang, it's a Korean noodles with a milky soup base and really, really good. I, this is a favorite I found so far for like an instant noodle type of thing. Though it's a little bit more than just an instant noodle because you don't just add hot water, so... But really, really good. Usually when I make it, I add like maybe some meatballs and some leeks or mushrooms. Just a little bit of something to it. So that was Monday. Taco Libre. So when did I go to Taco Libre? That's where we got my birthday cake. That was it. I think we stopped on... We stopped at Starbucks after church. Okay, we stopped at Taco Libre after church and got my birthday cake, which was Trace Leche's cake. And actually, I think we picked up, yeah, we picked up lunch. And then later, I picked up my free birthday drink, and I got the lavender cream frappuccino. So that was that day. Uh, Tuesday was sisterhood. Um, I had gotten this royal milk tea at um, <clears throat> um, the Asia Mall. 
So I tried that and that was it. Wednesday, I went to Jensen's with my friend Marilyn for my birthday and worked, of course. And then the 14th, Tuesday, Thursday, um, looks like we didn't do anything special. Friday the 15th, uh, we went to our friend's house, a couple for dinner and another couple that we're good friends with came as well. So there was a six of us and we had a really, a really good time. Um, oops, this came off. It's kind of hard to stay on these things. Keep pushing that in. The 16th was Saturday and it looks like we ran some errands. I made a chocolate cake from scratch to take uh, to Dwayne and Kay's, to my brother and sister-in-law's house for Sunday. <clears throat> St. Patrick's Day, we had church and then we picked up Doug's mom and I frosted the cake. Well, I frosted the cake, we picked up Doug's mom went to Doug's brother and his wife's house and we had kind of a pre-Easter because none of us were going to be around for Easter. So that was actually really nice. Then on the 18th, Monday, uh, just work. Yep, sisterhood on the 19th. And I just put, like I said, I didn't hear, I just didn't do hardly any decorating. The 20th, uh, which was Wednesday, um, it was our home group night, but we decided to do something different. So we had dinner at one of the couple's homes, and then we went to the theater, and we watched a documentary on kind of creation and the ark, mostly the ark, called The Ark and the Darkness. And it was actually um, really good. It's actually really good. The 21st was Thursday, and Doug stopped at this place called Muddy Paws Cheesecake and bought us each a cheesecake. I just got a plain because that's the kind of cheesecake I like, and Doug got something with chocolate. <laughs> then Friday the 22nd, I went to Perkins and Joanne's with Rachel, um, kind of midday, and... Saturday, what did we do? I had global workers training with our church in the morning and then Doug was on call so he had to go take care of something at work and that was pretty much it. And Sunday the 24th, we didn't go to church. We had the biggest snowstorm we've had all year, 8.2 inches. And so Doug actually, he went to work and cleared snow all day, really all day. And so I just stayed home, didn't, didn't go to church, of course. And then he stayed overnight. So Monday, he came back. Um, did he come back early? He got home like an hour early, earlier than normal, because he had a board meeting at four. Um, there's just some scones I made. Then, sisterhood on Tuesday and we got 3.9 inches so we got a total of like 12.1 inches from this storm that started on Sunday um so that was Tuesday and we did go to sisterhood um because the roads were good by the time we left then the 27th Wednesday um Oh, I finished Sadie's Easter gift. I knitted her an afghan with like this chunky, soft yarn and um, gave that to her. And then the 28th, um, this was the start of our vacation to Arkansas to visit our son and his wife. And we went to Eureka Springs um, in the Ozarks, beautiful, beautiful area. And we've been to Eureka Springs before. So we left on on the, in the morning and um, about nine o'clock really and we did a lot of stops and we ended up uh, spending the night in Carthage Missouri so we were only an hour and a half away so that we could get there in the morning like by noon on Friday and so we'd have more time with them 
So we arrived at their place at like 1130 and visited and then we went to a Mexican restaurant and then we relaxed a little bit and then um, for supper, well we actually, we just, um, cause we ate lunch at two o'clock, we didn't do supper. So we just met at the lodge and Marcy had made dessert for us. And then uh, we played two games of Scrabble. That was a lot of fun. I played English and Spanish game and just had a lot of fun and a lot of laughter. And it, it was a good time. And then Saturday we had, they made us breakfast. And then, um, oh, probably close to 11, we headed into Eureka Springs just to do some tourist stuff. So we went first to Thorn Crown Chapel, which is a beautiful wood and glass chapel. And we just sat there for a while. And then we went into town to the uh, the St. Elizabeth of Hungary Catholic Church. Uh, very pretty air gardens and a pretty church. And so we did that. And then before we went there, I forgot, we drove through Leatherwood City Park. And anyway, after that, we went to Bass Lake, Black Bass Lake. So just a nice view. And then we came back to Eureka Springs to the Just Be Coffee Shop. And we got coffee and then they had a big backyard with all kinds of different chairs and tables and just really peaceful. And we actually, we sat there for two hours and just relaxed and visited and enjoyed, really enjoyed it. Then we had lunch at 2.30 and I got across the street from where uh, they live and where we were staying. Um, at Engler's restaurant and I got my three Arkansas favorites, hush puppies, catfish, and sweet tea. And Andrew and Marcy hadn't had hush puppies before, so I got some for them and they did like them. And then we relaxed in the afternoon and then at seven, Andrew and Marcy came over and they did, uh, showed us all the wedding pictures. There were like 900, <laughs> but we finally got to see them. And then in the evening, we had a campfire with them and with Nick and Kate, who all run the business where Andrew works and the motel and where we stayed. And then Doug made camper pies. And then Easter Sunday, we went to the park, the Great Passion Play Park. Well, first we had breakfast um, at a little cafe. And then we went to the Passion Play, Great Passion Play, but not to see it because it wasn't showing and there was hardly anybody there because it was Easter Sunday. But we got to drive in, see the statue, the Christ of the Ozarks, and then Andrew's friend Nick, where we were staying, knows the guy who plays Jesus. And he said we could drive into the Holy Land tour. And even though there weren't actors there, we could see all, all the buildings and we could get out and read the signs and stuff. So that was really interesting. And after that, we went to uh, Onyx Cave and toured that. And then we went down to the right White River just to one of the beachy areas. And then we stopped uh, at Beaver Lake Dam to, at the Outlook and got back to the motel about 1.20. So we just had a light lunch and re relaxed. And Andrew was out guiding a film crew on mountain bikes, on the mountain bike trails that he rides on um, for the Arkansas Tourism Board. So we got to see him on his first jump and then we just hung around there for a while and then went and relaxed. And then um, at 7.30, then we went with Andrew and Marseille to the Crescent Hotel, which is in Eureka Springs, and it's like way up on a hill. And there's a Sky Bar Lounge on top and they make homemade pizza and calzones. So we got that for supper and sat out on their patio and just had a really nice visit. Um, and then the next day we headed home on April 1st. So um, left it, got up at 4.30, left at five. We were really exhausted and we had to keep stopping just so we could stay awake. But we did get home at, what time do we get home? Mm, 4.30. And we packed and relaxed and we were so tired we went to bed at 8.30 because we were exhausted. It's like we had lunch at Raising Cane's and we had breakfast at a 
McDonald's, I think. Yeah, a McDonald's. Yeah, so then we were just so tired when we got home. I don't think we even ate. I, obviously, I didn't put down that we even ate. Um, I did put this for the, the Galleria Floral Experience, which the theme was Into the Deep because uh, Rachel and my daughter and I do this every year. I usually do it also with a couple friends, but uh, we only had enough time because of our vacation to do it one time. But anyway, Tuesday, back to work. Doug had a board meeting. And then Wednesday, we had home group. This was from a candy package. Um, Thursday, nothing going on. Um, Friday, Doug had his prostate surgery, so he stayed overnight in the hospital, and I had Sadie come, and she stayed overnight with me, and I took her, well, Rachel and I went to Joann's and Starbucks and Michael, Michael's, and then we picked up Sadie, and I brought her back with me, and we stopped at Target, and I got Starbucks for her then, and we just relaxed, um, and Doug's surgery took a he actually didn't, like he had to be at the hospital at 12 and he didn't get back to his, the recovery room until six. So he is a lightweight when it comes to medicine and being put out. So he was out for like four hours. So yeah. Anyway, so he came back home on a Saturday. And so we got him settled and then Rachel, and he went to bed because he was hadn't hardly slept. So Rachel and I, and Sadie went to the flower show, Starbucks, and the flower show, which is beautiful. It was, like I said, into the deep. So it was like a sea theme, and it was just fantastic. Anyway, on Sunday, we went to church, and then um, Doug went to visit a friend in the hospital, and then later on in the afternoon, our friends Chuck and Gail came over for a short visit and brought some homemade cherry coconut banana bread. It's really good. Then on the 8th was our son-in-law's 40th birthday. Both he and our daughter turned 40 this year. Um, so that was Monday and not much going on. Doug was actually home all week um, recovering from his surgery. Uh, the solar eclipse was on Monday. It just got a little darker here and that was it and it was cloudy um on tuesday i did start a new tuesday i wonder if i went to get more yarn on tuesday i can't remember but i i, I did get yarn i started a new blanket for a friend and it's um <clears throat> it's really pretty colors really soft colors and this was also the last night of sisterhood. So sisterhood was done, all ended, and I'm not gonna be doing sisterhood anymore. I've done it, I've been going for six years. I went once to participate, like just as a member at a table, and then I was a table leader for two years, and then I was a coach over um, two, table le two tables for the leaders for three years. So now it's, I just feel like it's time to move on to new things, so. Um, I just really felt like it was time to stop. So I'm gonna finish up my classes. Uh, I have one class, more class this summer. I'm finishing up a class. I have a class this summer and a class in the fall and then just one January intensive course and then I'm done the end of January. So we're gonna start helping at our church's Alpha, which is once a week, 10 weeks in the winter and 10 weeks in the fall. But, um, so we'll start help, helping next February with that and probably not do anything this fall because I'll be taking a hard theology course and I just, I don't want to be stressed out doing other things. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, Wednesday, did I do anything special? I did go to Joann's and pick up more yarn because I realized I didn't have enough yarn and thankfully, I could get what I needed and it was half price which yarn can get pretty pricey so if I can find half price yarn I'm pretty happy Thursday the 11th um, not much going on 
Doug visited a couple of his friends and ran some errands and that was really about it. And here we are here. And Friday, um, actually my brother came at about 9.30 and he's also my boss. So we visited, talked about some work stuff and other things. And then we went to the Asia Mall around 11.30 and my husband went with us. So I got, they have a new bakery open, Kiefer Court. So I went there and got just a few little Japanese items. I think they're Japanese. Well, you know what? They're just Asian. I, I, I'm not sure. And um, we went to the grocery store and I went to the store called Ibisu and got um, some dishes. And then after that, we went to Teresa's Mexican restaurant and had lunch. And then when we came back home, uh, we did some work, relaxed, uh, talked about work again, relaxed. So that was kind of our evening. We didn't really have supper either. We just, um, we had gotten plenty of food at our, the restaurant, which is excellent. And then today my brother left at eight o'clock and Doug uh, ran some errands. Right now he's cleaning the cars and uh, waxing them, I think, doing you know, some car maintenance stuff. And um, I'm just relaxing today. We're not really doing much of anything. So I thought maybe what I could do, I, I have done some uh, decorating ahead, but maybe I'll do some more decorating. And I think what I'm gonna do is put, um, go ahead and put one of these on. And I do have something else to stick on from the Asia market. So, like I said, you just peel off, okay? And then it starts into a whole new series. So if you can see, there's a little edge here of something. And when you peel this off, it just comes onto this edge and it just kind of continues um, all the way through. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, glue where it needs it and I will put that here on the 15th and just kind of stick it right there and I think that's the only thing I have to glue everything else I own is um, stickers really which reminds me I want to get my sticker box here and see what I can use so then I want to put this on here I got this uh, tiny little loaf of bread like it's this is how it was for the, the diameter. And it was about this tall and super duper cute. And I thought it would be fun to, and it wasn't like a mango flavor. There was like mango stuff inside. So I thought it would be super cute to cut out some of the packaging and stick it in here. So I'm just gonna cut around here do that. Tomorrow we go to visit my mother-in-law after we have the nine o'clock church because we switch from 11 o'clock to nine o'clock and we're going to come home and eat lunch after that and then we will go and um, visit her. Oh when I was at the um, Gallery of Flower show I bought a gorgeous plant I uh, can't remember what it's called, but it has leaves that are green, but beautiful pink on the inside of the leaves. And you just pour water into the leaf channel to water it. And uh, I wish I could remember its name. It's a tropical plant, but we got a pretty pot for it um, and repotted it. And I re got another pot and repotted my Christmas cactus because it was way too big. And then my friend got a basil plant at Sisterhood, so she gave it to me. Um, so we have a basil. I have a basil plant too. <laughs> I'm just going to put this here because there's not a lot of writing that I have to do. Okay. Now I can do some decorating. All right.
yeah I did decorate a little head back there it is I do like getting a head in the decorating actually it, it it really helps if I do so I did use up the rest of my stickers my cherry blossom stickers so I am decorated just through there so the 18th um, I've got time I want this video to be like an hour so I got 20 minutes so um, I use different decorating like this is all my paper dolls and I have to pick up an order from Rachel today another order came in so I do enjoy um, using these a lot <laughs> and I have a lot and I really I really enjoy them and I use these big ones for the week the week pages kind of back and forth but I haven't used these in a while so this might be kind of fun maybe these toasts <coughs> would be a good one and let me see if I have a girl that would go to a, oh here's a I knew I had a toast one here's one of the oh no this is for these eggs is it this one yeah I'm not gonna use it there I'll just go here and look for something that I feel could go well with this toast one so let's just kind of look them over and see See which one is gonna work. Um, no, nope. I think I'm gonna use a simple one. So let me see if there's anything. I could do some of these with the toast one. I think. Let me keep that page separate, unless I see another one I like better. some super cute ones this may be so that's another option not this that okay mm, I think I think I'm gonna go with this and then what do I do with the toast right there okay and then I usually like to, if I can, match um, a washi with it. And really that just depends on the washies that I have. So let me see if any of these would look good. Um, yes. I'm going to use this one right here. I think that's a good one. All right. So what I'm going to do is find the beginning. Okay, come on. Okay, good. So what I think I'll do is come here. I'm not gonna worry about that edge. Bring this here, and then we'll come over here and come off this way. I feel like I did this upside down. It's a road. <laughs> I did it upside down, what can I say? Um, and I'm going to put one up here, too. Yeah, this is definitely a road. I don't know if I can peel it off or not and fix this. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Peels super easy. All right. So let's just turn this the right, the right direction and put it here and this one, too.
All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, that one is good. And then I want to use a couple of the girls. So I'm gonna put one girl here and I'm gonna put the other girl um, right here. And I do want to use these as well. So we'll put one here and we'll put one here. And then let's just put their little bit of decor with them. <laughs> Super cute. And we'll put this one here. And this one can go here. And this green one up here. And we got some flowers. Put one there. And whatever that is. And we'll put one here. And here. Okay. And then I want to put um, the toast. So I'm going to put one toast here and one toast there. This one, I'll put this blueberry toast, or yeah, it looks like blueberries, right? And this one here, and then we can put this one up here and this one up here and this one, oh, so cute, little cats. So cute. All right. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty easy to decorate. Um, other things I can decorate with, um, I, I have the girls like right here and I've used these quite a bit. Plus I have these long uh, girl ones that I really like. They're very, very pretty. Um, I don't use these very often because I don't plan. Um, I have flowers which I can really do anytime, but not yet because of the time of year. It's still a little cool here in Minneapolis. However, I could use this one right here. Mm. It's so pretty, I think right here. The other one I have, um, is this one, and this is also, like, I have some winter ones that I really didn't need to use this year, and just, um, random botanical type stickers, and I think I have some others. I have these, which actually... Um, I think some of these would go really well here. And then I need a soft blue, some kind of a blue, um, this one right here, I think, or this is a secret garden one. Oh yeah. The secret garden one's super pretty. Let's do this one. Okay, so I do want to put her here. So that's going to be the first thing. So let me sit here and fiddle with this until it... And actually, why don't I do it this way? Yeah, I like that better. Um, let's see what's my time coming at. Okay, I got like 10 minutes left. Come on. Oh my gosh, sometimes it's really hard to get these stickers peeled off. Just patience, patience. Oh, I feel it coming. Come on.
But yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing with my life. <laughs> my workload has been light for several months, but it is finally going to increase. So that's good. Um, but I don't think overly, like not too much where I'm gonna feel overwhelmed. Which is good, because I don't want to feel overwhelmed. Let's put this one up here. There we go. Nice. Then I want to put this one I haven't used before. So I just need to find where it starts. Right here. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, I love it. I think what I'll do is run it across the bottom on this one and then across the top on this one. It is lovely. All right, there we go. So that is sufficient for that one. And then I want to put in <clears throat> some of these. Let's see which side they stick on. Look at how pretty these are. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Um... I'll put one here. And then maybe this stamp right here. And I want something small next to it. Well, maybe this. And then we'll put this now we'll put this one over here. Just do a few, a few things here. So let me see. I can put this leaf and this one here. And then a stamp right there and then what what else maybe another stamp up here okay and I have some words so let's put the words right under it and this I like that. I think that looks really good. And then we'll put this up here. And then I need a small stamp. Or no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What do I want to put there? Um, Let's put a stamp there, and then I'm gonna put a flower right here. And then something tinier right there. Okay, like this petal. Okay, I feel like that's good. All right, so I'll put that away. Right here. I forgot I had more of the cherry blossom stuff here. I got a bunch that I forgot about. All right, I think that is good. And I don't think I need to do any more. Let me see how far I got here. I feel like I could do um, here, I could do cherry blossoms. And I do have, I do have some loose petals. 
So these are just loose um, cherry blossom petals here. So I think I will just do these. And you just peel them off like that. And then I can just run them. They're very, very pale, but I can run them down like the edge here. And they look, they look really pretty. Oops. Here. Let's do one going up and another one going up and this one can go down. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love it. I want to do um, up here too as well, actually. So beautiful. I like that. And then let's just do cherry blossoms in the middle of all of these. Okay. Um, let's bring this one over here. And This one here, and this one here. Okay. And two more. This one can go up oh, here, come back. Ah. <laughs> uh, whoops. I ended up bumping that with my head. This one here. And this one here. Yeah. I think that looks really nice. So we'll just make sure that's sealed. And I think we're done. So yeah, we got enough. I have enough prepped ahead. Um, and I have enough prepped ahead in here. So I think we have all set. Very happy with that. Yeah. So there, caught up. Um, I'm sorry I was gone for so long. And hopefully that's it. And we will be, <laughs> there will be, I'll be back more often instead of waiting so long to come back. Um, but I do thank you all for watching. I do really appreciate it. Um, and hopefully it won't be too busy and I can get back here, uh, at least in a month. Um, I'm kind of going to just doing once a month just because, um, once a week is too much. I tried once every two weeks and sometimes I just can't do that either. So, I'm going to say once a month, and if I can do it more, um, that will be a bonus. So, But thank you for watching, all of you who watch and those who comment. Um, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. So thank you, and happy spring. All right, bye.